everybody, this is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat, and I'm here for the first day of our happy Easter hop. And this hop starts today on the 16th and runs. It will new videos will be up again on the 17th. Then it will close on March 23rd. Give me some time because I'm going to have to go through and verify that everybody who. Um, left comments did indeed subscribe to everyone and that they commented on every channel so the peep the videos announcing the winners will go up on March 30th everything will go up at the same time so you should be able to easily find all of the you know the videos that you need to see and cottage cuts is doing a video on Friday and again on Saturday of course you can only subscribe once but you do need to leave a comment on both videos and I'm gonna start by showing you oh let me tell you what I'll be giving away first I'm going to be giving away a $25 gift certificate to cottage cuts because I know that I love these dies you guys know I love these dies if you've watched my videos for any length of time and I thought you know these are my favorite crafting supplies and what better way to share the something that I love than to share the dies that I love most so I wanted to give a $25 gift certificate to the cot to cottage cuts and you can order whatever you want and pick out what you like best so I started by using the nested stitched eyelet circle set then I used mr. Peter rabbit and miss petunia bunny and <laughs> I love it guys I love it I love it oh I'm sorry there's one other video or one other die that I used and I actually used a Christmas set called festive owls and I wanted that hat so that hat or actually the hats and this are the whole reason <laughs> I picked this that was because I love the little hats there's so many things I know I can do with them so let me show you my first project Ta-da! It's a wedding car. <laughs> My husband is uh, asked was asked to stand up with a man that he works with, and he wanted me to make a card. So, and the bride's favorite color is pink. So I used rose gold uh, embossing powder and just embossed the background with a background stamp, and used some. Um, I was I didn't want to use the white because it was just you couldn't I lost the bunnies so I used this platinum um, paper here this shiny paper put a little tool up here for her um, her headpiece and some flowers to go across I used some vellum paper and some spectrum noir shimmer which I'm not sure if the camera's picking up a little bit I guess and I used my pan pastels for both bunnies and did their outfits chalk their cheeks and the hat here he has he's got a white outfit on a white shirt on and then I cut the top of this and folded them back so that you he would have um, lapels so that he would have a little collar there for his suit and he's got the diamond in his hand getting ready to give it to his bride and I just did a computer generated sentiment nothing fancy and left the inside blank to make a note but that are that is my first project and I absolutely am over the moon tickled with how it turned out I did layer her dress twice because with one layer of and here's me being silly but you know I wanted her to be modest because <laughs> you can see through the one layer of vellum and you can see the silhouette of her body so I put two layers so she's a very modest bride folks very modest bride and there's our groom in his top hat looking very dapper and I just loved it absolutely loved it and I will be right back in one second to show you my next projects All right, guys, for my next project, again, I used, whoops, sorry, I used Miss Petunia Bunny. I used the Stitch Alphabets that are in the new release, and I also used this fancy bookmark. And 
really was impressed with how this looked. I loved it. And it comes with these little icons that you can decorate the bottom of the tag with if you wanted to. And or it, they call it a bookmark, but I turned it into a tag. And so there's definitely lots and lots of ways that you can use these. So let me start by showing you what I did. The first thing I did was I picked up some cupcake boxes and I'd tell you where I got them, but I can't remember. <laughs> and so here's my fancy bookmark right here. And there's little Miss Petunia Bunny and I put the flower that's in there in her hair and put a little pearl in the center. Here's the J for Jennifer. And I just took my white glaze pen and went over all of the stitched lines to turn them white. Use my black glaze. And then for the other ones, I used my pink souffle pen, but I had cut pink out for her dress. So I had the pink nose already. And then I just cut a piece of polka dotted vellum, ran it through my Xyron machine and it just layers right over top and you can't see any adhesive. So there's the J. I didn't have any um, eyelash trim that matched this so I just used some twine that would match the bunny and I'll bring it up there so you can see a little better and that look at that isn't that beautiful I love the way it's cut and then put a little bow and some of um, some twine on that one and then my last one is this one and she is um, all decked out in blue I filled the inside of the box with candies that were blue and put some eyelash trim a little bow again this is Miss Petunia Bunny and this is the stitched alphabet and I use the flower that she has in the on the die and you could either put it in the on the basket here but or it's on her dress right here but I took it and put it right up there on her hair like she had a flower in her hair. And there's just so many ways that you could do this, guys. And um, my daughter said it looked like I was doing boys and girls because I put blue candy in the blue box and pink candy in the pink box. And then I did this one in pink and blue and silver. But personally, I like that they match. So these are my projects for the cottage cuts happy Easter hop and I hope that you guys like them as much as I do all right guys remember that you need to follow all the rules visit all of the videos leave a comment on each of the videos and subscribe to each of the channels make sure you leave a comment on both cottage cuts videos one on Friday one on Saturday and you will be eligible for some really awesome prizes. And like I said, my prize is going to be a $25 gift certificate to the Scrapping Cottage because I really wanted to share my love for these dies. And so I thought this was a perfect way to do this. All right, everybody. Remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. I love you all. Bye.